What's up everyone, Arctic here, bringing you guys a brand new Running Ranked episode. This is Season 6, number 14, and uh, I'm playing the test playlist, the classic playlist with the loadouts uh, with your rifle and Nasher. I told you guys, I, ju I just can't seem to break away from it, but uh, that could be changing here relatively soon. Uh, Epic posted up a Gears of War test feedback uh, thread that... Uh, actually, there's a multiple threads that have um, different options for you to kind of vote on and talk about which ones you want in the game. And I'm going to go over those in this video. So hopefully you guys have been uh, active on the forums, uh, checking out some stuff, checking out the website, uh, perhaps even active reload and, uh, you know, trying to get some feedback going on the game. Now, the very first one uh, on this specific thread and the link is down in the description for you guys remember links save lives check the description and you guys will be taken to uh, the area where all these links are prominent and you can uh, vote on them essentially or I guess you can uh, tweet gal test hashtag gal test to submit your feedback uh, but the first option is to have the classic play or classic loadout be uh, default in all of the pr uh, playlists. Ugh, that, that death right there made me very upset when I was playing. Uh, so the first option is to have the rifle or shotgun be global. Uh, that's across all the playlists. Second option, and this is in standard multiplayer obviously, the second option is to have uh, the rifle and shotgun be limited to some playlists, uh, not others. And uh, C is have the standard one primary in quick match and the classic loadout in ranked. And then the last option would be none of those above. So uh, my opinion uh, right now, I would like to see, and I pretty much mentioned this on my Nasher Rifle running ranked episode. I, I feel like this pretty much works across the board except for in free for all. I don't think it should be in free for all. So the obvious option there would be option B for me. Um, I don't know how the rest of you guys feel. You know, the, the really cool one here is uh, option C, which is limiting it to the uh, <laughs> the ranked only playlist, which would definitely incentivize a lot of players to get involved with rank. That guy got domed. Um, so, you know, I don't know how you guys feel about that one, but that is definitely enticing to me at least because that might force a lot of you guys that are playing a quick match uh, to come into uh, my domain in the ranked environment and uh, uh, play there so hopefully um, you guys choose either option B or option C uh, I don't really feel like the loadouts need to be global because I don't think it will work again very well in free-for-all that seems to be the only position uh, playlist rather that I don't feel like it would be too good uh, this is actually a really excellent snipe spot for those of you guys that probably have played this quite a bit and uh, see those guys up at the tower. Really good snipe shot, uh, snipe spot with that breach. Um, the next option is basically asking for for fee feedback on the stem grenades. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that dislike the stem grenades. Heck, I even have people that are tell me not to. Um, advise players to use the stim grenade because they feel like it's noob tactics like i'm somehow telling them uh to cheat in the game like i'm giving them hacks that oh ooh, ooh, are, aren't accessible to him uh them uh, otherwise or or to everyone else like like uh and this this is what irritates me like if i was in a football game and my coach is like hey um i want you to run up the middle because We've gotten a first down every sing, single time in the defensive team. The coach, he just hasn't able, even yeah, he hasn't even done anything. I just want you to run straight up the middle. I'm going to use my offensive line. Uh, I'm going to run up the field, and I'm going to score a touchdown. My coach is not telling me to cheat. He's just telling me to run up the middle. It's part of the game, right? So until Epic changes it, I'm going to advise people to use whatever options that are available to them uh, in the game to uh play i mean that's just that's what i do i'm not telling them to cheat I'm telling them to play the game and uh, the best way they possibly can so that was in my nasher tutorial and i had people like ah oh, stop giving people new tactics i can't believe you recommended the stem grenade and i said there was three options i said the stem 
the smoke or the frag and people were like stuck on that stem i can't believe you said stem grenade it's like come on dude it's not like i'm telling people to hop on with their modded controllers and their game shark codes hacking the game come on get out of here all right so anyway thoughts on the stem uh, because there's been so much feedback about this remove them globally from standard multiplayer uh, which would only leave them in overrun don't have a problem with that limit this uh, the stem to certain game types again I think this is one where it probably comes into effect most if they're not going to make it so that the stem only heals your teammates uh, then it makes sense to have it in free-for-all only um, I don't really know how that would affect stem uh, or uh, the free-for-all environment I don't know I don't play a whole lot of free-for-all I don't know if it's prevalent there it uh, seems like frags would be more of an issue than stems uh, in free-for-all. So, you know, being able to self-heal there, I guess that kind of makes sense. They've already tweaked it a bunch and people still don't like it. So uh, that's the second option. The third option is to make stems only available in quick match, not in ranked. Again, I don't have a problem with that one because I only play ranked. Um, and the stems, they, I mean, they honestly don't, they don't really bother me that much. If someone uses a stem... I'm just not going to engage in them. Um, there are times when I'm right up on someone and then they use a stem and there's just like nothing I can do in that situation. But, you know, uh, most of the time I've seen the stems used, there's a guy throwing his stem at me and charging me with a Nasher. And at which point I'm like, OK, dude, I'm just going to back away and get away from your stem. And that's pretty much how I've, I've played against people that use the stem. Uh, so I'm really indifferent on the whole stem thing. I don't really care what they do with it I have no opinions on it I would choose none of the above because I, 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 mean, I honestly don't care uh, the next two are basically asking for weapon placement on the DLC maps uh, you know I did my walkthrough on Boneyard and I immediately noticed uh, that the boom shot I thought the boom shot would be the easy go-to spot for the majority of uh, players that play at least in, in a team environment on like you know a domination or team deathmatch or execution i don't know if it would be in, on execution in, in that playlist um in the rotation but it's obviously going to be the focal point of the map so i felt like it should have been um possibly in, in a different location possibly in the middle of the map possibly not even on the map or have a weapon instead of the hammer of dawn uh, like the bushka be sort of like the you can choose the boom shot or the the uh, the Bushka so um, that's kind of interesting they also have an issue where one team gets a sniper and the other team gets a torque bow on that map as well again that was free-for-all so I mean that, that that could be possible in free-for-all only playlists but uh, in terms of team that doesn't make sense you don't want to give one team a sniper and the other team torque bow because the sniper has a greater range uh, and it's definitely a lot easier to get a snipe headshot on someone than torque someone across the map. It's just definitely easier. The snipe is pretty much the counter to the torque bow. Uh, so, you know, if they want to go dual long shots, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I would actually, uh, that would be nice. Or, uh, you know, two breach shots would be cool. Or, I don't really know about two torques. But at two breach shots, two snipes, I think that's cool. But a breach and a torque, maybe. Um, a snipe. Uh, in a breach maybe I would rather have it be one or the other and then blood drive just has way too many uh, I'm looking at this bug here that ink was attached to that guy's body uh, really weird anyway um, blood drive I, I don't really have too many opinions on it. I just feel like there's too many explosive weapons on the map I have to play it a lot more in order to form an opinion about it just haven't seen it enough uh, and that's pretty much it uh, I would definitely interested in seeing what you guys think about it in terms of weapon placement and thoughts on STEM and the classic loadouts. And until the next time, guys, I will catch you later. Peace. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to like the video and subscribe for future installments in the Running Ranked series.